another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive with TNT D I N O M I G H T. What up, Johnny? We doing a podcast? Yeah, dude, we're we're podcasting for all the people in the world. Every single one. All of you. Yeah. We don't we don't discriminate who listens to our podcast. Yes, all listeners matter. <laughs> wow. What? <laughs> What? Thank you so much for joining us today on the All Listeners Matter edition <laughs> of the Crazy Town Podcast. Sounds worse when you say it. I know, right? Doesn't it? Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media uh, or on Spotify and iTunes uh, if you want to just listen to the audio only version. This guy, he's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. Come and hang out with your boy live. Yeah, dude. Yeah, get um, your morning started off right with some dynamite in your life. When are you gonna start oh, Donald Ducking on there? Dude, I'm gonna use that from now on. Get what your time get your day started right with, with dynamite, dynamite in your, in your, life. your life. When are you gonna start Donald Ducking on Cam? Donald the ducking on Cam. Yeah, dude. For those who are uninitiated, Donald Ducking is when I wear a t shirt and nothing on the bottom. Just bare <laughs> bones, just Letting the wind get the berries and biscuits. And for any of you that probably have never thought about it, Donald Duck walks around with just a shirt on. Yeah, he does. So and a hat. Winnie, so does Winnie the Pooh, Chip and Dale. Mm. Do they? The uh, Oh, the um, the chipmunks. Yep. I think Daisy does. Mickey doesn't wear. Mickey just wears shorts. So he's just like, he's just in booty shorts out <laughs> yeah. there just he's doing the, it. The reverse Donald. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's kind of just like standard. That's like just like a guy in the at the pool. <laughs> yeah, wearing, yeah, just wearing shorts. No shoes, no shirt, no service. Though. Yeah, dude. So like um Donald Duck in it. What do you mean? I'm not I know why we were gonna get into Donald Duck in it. Yeah, dude. Let's Donald Duck. Let's no. talk about no, Donald no, no, Duck no, I'm, just, I'm just being When's the last dude. time you Donald Ducked? I don't Donald Duck. I wonder if people at home Donald Duck. I don't know, man. Like usually I have on a t shirt and shorts. I mean, it's a special occasion when I do Donald Duck, but I've done it a bunch. What's the occasion? For me to double D? Double um, D. I don't know. I would guess like... Uh, like your birthday? Christmas? All right. Hot take. Say like you're wearing boxers and you go to the bathroom. This is, this is going to resonate with the males. You're going to the bathroom and you know you get a little, you get a little excess piss on the oh, front you of your boxer. Oh, you get the dribble. Yeah, you get the dribble. Right, right, right. So right. then you're like, oh shit, I had to take these boxers off. So you take them off, and you're like, you know what? We're just gonna roll with this. Okay. We're just gonna. We're just I mean, gonna... I, can, I can definitely relate with the dribble. It happens to every man. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's like when you put a, like you got whenever you, I mean whenever you put a hose away, water's gonna drip out the end. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, it's just it's just part of physics. So then you know you just kind of roll with the punches, and you're like, yeah. I'm just gonna rock this DD lifestyle for okay. a little bit. I can tell you that I've definitely dribbled. I can tell you that I've not ever thought I'm just gonna keep rolling with no pants I'm just, on. Just gonna... <laughs> no, I don't know. But why, why the shirt and no pants? Why not just nothing? All Thank right, you. wait, another scenario. Another okay. scenario. All right, so you're taking a shit, right? Just okay. in your boxers, just taking a shit. Then you know you look down at your boxers and you realize, you know what? I should probably change these. Okay. So then you just like kick them off to the side. And then, you know, like, oh. Start doing something else? Yeah, you, just, you know, you get busy. You start <laughs> so busy, I forgot to put on pants. <laughs> you're getting busy. You're like, I'm going to head but out. But why to aren't you just naked instead of DDing? Because you have a shirt on. I'm Just because I take my boxers off, they're not attached at the hip. Oh, okay. My, my boxers and my shirt. All right, I get it a little bit. Like, you I don't know, dude. I've never, I don't think I've ever, I mean, like, obviously, like, maybe, like, from the bathroom to the bedroom or something. Like, like you said, like, you yeah. dribble, you take them off, and, like, yeah. you're walking. But never, like, just hanging out all day with no pants on or shirt on. Okay, another scenario. Okay. You say that you're being intimate with a young lady. Okay. And you're feeling insecure. <laughs> About your upper half? <laughs> Okay. All right. I mean, I get. I, get. I mean, or or it could just be the heat of the moment. It could just be the heat of the moment. Okay. Right. Like sometimes heat of the moment, you're just like, oh yeah, let's just go. You know. And yeah. You just like get in there, dude. Well, you know, I can relate to that one a little more because not so much insecurity, but like, if you were like, say you're you're fooling around with your partner or a girl or whatever, and like. Uh, she wants to perform oral on you. Okay. You just you yeah, would, you're Donald Duck. Yeah, like you're not gonna take off your shirt and your pants and like you just like 
I wonder if people take their shirt off to get fellatio. That's kind of I don't weird. know. It's like because I could, you know, like I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah, like that. I just you pu- usually pull your shorts down, and you may you, like it's it's more convenient to kick them to the side because if not, your legs are, are you're basically like yes, you have that webbing. Yeah, exactly. So you got <laughs> you can't spread your legs far enough with the webbing if your shorts are around your ankles. You can't. You just can't right. Do so it. that would be a, a perfect Donald Duck scenario. I don't know what type of degree angle you're rocking while getting this fellatio. But if you're in a ch- like if like you like sit down in a chair or something. Okay. Yeah, right. you just like pull. Yeah, dude, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I feel you. You definitely got to move them out. They got to. Yeah, have, and, they and, have and, to and go. the same thing with like sex. Like you're just like, you're screwing around or doing whatever. Yeah, and, and it and, just happens, dude. And you end up in Donald Duck yeah, formation, right? Because you aren't even thinking. You're in sex yeah. brain. So and then you like, get up and go to the bathroom, and nothing is sexier to a woman than <laughs> seeing you double D in it to the bathroom. <laughs> is it nothing sexier, dude? Is that it? <laughs> with nothing but a t-shirt and some socks. Yeah. They love Shirt it. And sock. Yeah, they love it. The perfect combination. They're like, I'm yeah. gonna marry that man. Yeah, yeah. Then you serve him breakfast in bed. Donald Duck in it. <laughs> Extra sausage. Yeah, dude. So no, all right. I was just, you know, if you guys have never heard of Donald Duck, and there you go. <laughs> the whole, whole, uh, whole explanation. When's the last time you Donald Duck? Guys? Yeah, put it in the comments below. <laughs> so. All right, at least we started lighthearted. Class, because this, dude. Because this story is not lighthearted. Absolute class. So this is a re- very recent story. I mean, this probably is coming out in about a week. All so right. this happened just the other day. Sure. Mexico's police chief, well, a police chief in a city in Mexico. I don't remember what city exactly. He was, uh, he was on his way to work. And um, in Mexico, oddly enough, when he's on his way into work, he has to drive in an armored vehicle. To get to work, because the, the drug cartels are not happy there. Mm. Um, so what happened was he was driving down one of the main streets in his city on his way to work. Twenty-eight hitmen, twenty-eight, open fire with grenades, assault rifles, and sniper rifles Damn. at his armored car, trying to assassinate him. <laughs> they were they disguised themselves as road workers and were just chilling on the street. Wow. Uh and then That's... they uh they say that it was they they believe it was the uh, Jalisco New Generation Cartel who has declared a war on the city officials or something cuz they were mad about probably trying to stop them from you know cartels going to cartel and they're like you can't cartel here and they're like but but we're going to cartel and he's like no you can't and he's like well you know what I'm going to do then just declare war on the city. <laughs> Oh, that's no good. So, uh, they sound like a wrestling affiliate. I know. <laughs> the Jalisco New Generation. Like, yeah, right? yeah, Wolfpack. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, the thing is, they failed. He did not die. They failed in killing him. 28 men failed. I mean, he wasn't in an armored car, so at least did, there was that. Did they catch but, the men at all? Uh, they said they've arrested like a dozen people so far. Mm. They think they got the leader of the, the person who was behind the attack. I don't mm. know if he's the leader of the cartel. But um, they hit him. They said he was shot in the shoulder, the collarbone, and the knee. So he was shot, but he just wasn't hit uh, in a fatal. Fatally, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, but three people did die. Two of his bodyguards, and one like citizen in the street got hit, got killed too. I was literally just gonna ask, should he just have bodyguards? And he did. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? What are your body, five bodyguards gonna do with twenty eight armed men? Right. With assault rifles. It ain't right? like they had handguns. Jesus, Jonas. Um, this makes me think that maybe he needs to update his LinkedIn profile and choose a new line of work. Yeah, like because that job don't seem like it's worth it to me. <laughs> I don't know how much police officials he are getting wants paid. to keep the streets safe. Yo, fam. TNT Dynamite. Yo, yo. <laughs> Do you want to keep them safe that bad? <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> I guess that's like was my mindset. It was like you could be like ultra police the streets man and all you want and your your whole life goal is to keep the streets safe for the citizens oh, yeah. if you have a cartel trying to assassinate you with 28 gunmen in the streets mm. i'd be like i'm moving to switzerland yeah fuck your streets <laughs> you know it's really fucked up it's like how how is he gonna find new bodyguards i ain't guarding your body i'm not i'm how not guarding your a man to guard that man, now, especially yeah, now. Your body, exactly. Like, oh, you just had a 28-person hit squad on you? Oh, <laughs> you're going to pay me $20,000. So, yeah, we have a few openings here for bodyguard. Yeah, right? 
Uh-huh. Like, and they said uh, two, not even two weeks ago, the, the same cartel was suspected of breaking into a federal judge's home and killing him and his wife. They killed him and his wife? Yeah, a federal judge. That would be like someone from the Supreme Court. They break into their house, kill them and their wife. Or hit them and their husband. Yo, it's a it's a different land down there, man. It's oh Mexico. Yeah, yeah, like some of the, like the uh, like shit's real, dude. Like, <laughs> they, like they will like like it'll be like they want to pr- the cartels want to prove a point and they'll just like dump they'll be like they'll like drive a truck and dump like thirty dead bodies out of the back of it in the streets, or they'll like hang people from bri- dead people from bridges, or, or they'll like cut off their heads and put their heads somewhere, or. Like, there's, I mean, you hear so many stories of, like, people that are just running for office in Mexico. They aren't oh, yeah. even elected. They're yeah. just running. And they get murdered. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, true. what the hell is happening? Like, I don't know, man. And you know what? It just kind of reaffirms that, I mean, sure, you know, we have the administration we have currently, you know, in charge of things. But it ain't as bad yeah. as that. Like, people, people will say, oh, America's crazy. America has school shootings and stuff. But, like, we don't have organized crime organizations going into the city streets and murdering people just because. Like, like... One person shooting up anything is bad. Yeah. If you have an entire organization plotting shootings and killings and murdering mass, that is way worse than one person deciding to be a crazy person. Just basically so they can continue to sell drugs. Right. That's all it's about. Right. It's it's like, like, oh, you want to stop us from doing things that we're not allowed to do because it's not legal? (laughs) We'll just kill everyone who says that they can't. But officer, I really, really want to sell these drugs. Right. And they're like, sorry, you can't do that. Oh, well, I'll just kill every cop and every official and every person that gets in my way until I can just sell them all I want. Nobody take these clips out of context. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. But it's, it's just, We're already pinging on like FBI. Yeah, right. But it's just crazy that that's what like the cartel – like it's just – I don't know, man. Like I don't know how somebody can like run, be that – diabolical that, as a person i don't know man i guess money money and uh like i don't know like just not being humane for most of your life yeah it's just, i don't know what people go through is what i'm saying yeah, that's the truth you have no idea like what this drug lord i'm not you, caping for him but yeah right like who knows? who knows like i mean uh, but i can guarantee one thing they have a twisted world perspective yes <laughs> regardless of anything else they yes. they don't they may understand what they're doing is wrong, but they feel like they do, they're doing it for the right reasons. But they're the type of person that'd be like, you know what, Jonas? You have a twisted world perspective. Why are you using that <laughs> voice? That I don't know. That's, the, that's my cartel voice. Oh. <laughs> He'd be like, you have a twisted world perspective because I saw my mother die. I saw my father die. I saw my all of my family die in front of me. And what I did, I rose up and defeated that cartel, and you now gotta, I'm the cartel. You got to do the voice. Uh, oh, and then I'm not you doing a. That's, it's so good. It's not even it's a good voice. <laughs> it's gotta be real. yeah, culturally but, respectful. Yeah, man. I mean, people. It, it's messed up because people will complain a lot about like our country, and we do have our problems. Oh yeah, yeah, man. But like our problems are not anywhere near as bad as some of these other fucking countries' problems. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, we got the alt right. It's it's so weird to me. That our our country's issues, like what is what is our country's like main issue, right? You know, um, like right now it's obviously like the the movement of the alt right, and but it's like a lot of p- politics. Well, involved. yeah, well, yeah, we have like the alt right stuff. We have like the uh, um, terrorists, like, like the police, like even just the police in our country abusing their power against against minorities or just people in general too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that we have that we have like yeah, like the alt right government is here. corruption, but yeah, it's we, not nearly to the point of government corruption down there where right. like, people our are. Our government not. corruption is like you hook up your buddies to get more money. Their their <laughs> government corruption is like bribes and murders and like. Oh, I'm sorry, Judge. Your whole family's dead. Right, exactly. <laughs> Looks and like you shouldn't have locked up my boy. Right, and we have some like we have some uh, we have some pretty bad poverty here, but the poverty we have here is nowhere near as bad as the poverty yeah. in like a third world country. Yeah, like the poorest motherfuckers here still have it better than the people who are living in mud huts. Yeah, and, ha- and eating just rice for weeks on end because that's all they can afford. Yeah, that's very true because yeah. we, people here have enough money where you know they'll they'll give to like organizations and these organizations. 
donations actually give back to some of these right, exactly. less fortunate people. And like even poor folks can go to a store and buy some cheap groceries. In some some of these areas, there's nowhere to go buy. And it's like, what do you got? You got you go buy re beans, rice, corn. And that's what you got, dude. That's it. That's it. You can't go to the local Walmart and get a cheeseburger. You, you know, it's like. It's funny, man. I've been told that I should go to Mexico, especially since I moved to the South. Uh, well, obviously, <laughs> with the current situation, yeah. that's out of the fucking question. Yeah. But I, I've always been just a little apprehensive about going to Mexico because I sound like an American. And and uh, and what happened, like, I wanted to go too. Uh, my, my You last, haven't been? No, been here My, for all this time. You haven't been to Mexico because all the border. Everyone's like, do not go to the border towns. Oh, why not? Expensive? Because the cartels run them. What that mean? Like people get abducted. People like ish happens in these border towns. Like they're, they're people gonna get abduct gunfights. You? No, but like the la the last girl I dated was Hispanic. Her family lives in Mexico. We went down. I went down to visit her family near the bo near the border, and I was like, hey, let's while we're here, let's go to Mexico or whatever. And like literally everyone at the table, like she, she was like, we were sitting like with her mom and her brother and they're like, yeah, Jonas wants to go over to Mexico. Everyone's eyes lit up. Like I just called them a whore. <laughs> it was like pinchos green. And, right. Right. <laughs> right. And they were like, and they were like, no, you probably shouldn't go to Mexico. And I was like, but what, and what they told me was they're like, especially somebody like me. And I didn't take offense to this. <laughs> but I am, I'm not, I'm not a small person. Like I'm, I'm, I'm very white. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, <laughs> no, like, live your truth King. But, uh, <laughs> you are very, but, white. uh, and, and I wouldn't have you any other way, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm boisterous. I can be loud. And they're like, you will stand out like a sore thumb. Oh yeah, and then yes, they're yes, like the yes, last yes, thing yes, you yes. want to do in a town in a border town is bring negative attention to yourself, like you're a unruly American, because bad things happen to people. And I'm and I'm like, is it really that? I was like, I can't just I just want to go over there and like visit the market and like just be friendly and be nice. But they're like, just be friendly. And they're be like, nice. it is not a good idea. And like, and what they have says, if you do go, you probably will be okay. But stick to the tourist streets. Do mm. not wander off into the neighborhoods. Do not, especially if you don't speak the language. Like, just. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what, dude? It may not be worth going over. Like, what do I like? <sighs> I am. I don't like it. Like, what do I? What is so important there that I need to go there to risk potentially like something really bad happening for up to could be no reason at all because some guy doesn't like how I look. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's 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 a trope, man. It's been done in movies and, and other media before where. You know, a group of friends go down to Mexico, and all of a sudden, the cops lock you up. And then you're like, uh, why am I being detained? And they're like, this ain't America. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> and, then, then, and then the thing is, they're like, give us $1,000, we'll let you go. And you're like, because th that shit is real. Like, they really will lock you up, and you can pay. They want money. They, like, extort you. Because they're like, oh, you're, like, r rich white American teenagers. Your parents have money. Why don't you get us money? We'll let you go. <laughs> like... It's it's cra it's crazy, dude. Like I'm just right, and like yeah, if they rushed you, and you're like, but I didn't do anything. They're like, yeah, you did, and you're like, what I do? They're like Mexico, and you're like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's just I don't know, man. Like I would, I'd rather roll my dice somewhere else. Yeah, Jonas, it's it's hard being white, right? <laughs> I'm not saying that's because I'm white. <laughs> do not misconstrue what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> Man, it's hard because you can't go to Mexico, dude. No, I, it's not hard at it's, all, it's dude. I'm not, I am not. No, I am not falling into that trap. You are not <laughs> letting me. I, nope. It's funny because it's like you. You look at Mexico the way I look at like sixty percent of Texas. It, right, <laughs> and, 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 and that is. <laughs> like I just can't go there. It's not safe. I'm like I know, right? right. And that, and that, and like, and. uh <laughs> And I think it's a shame that anyone feels any that anyone feels that way about anywhere, especially the state. You <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, dude. But it's like it's it's just it's mess. And that and that um, and and then I you know and I'm you not ain't from around it. here, are you, boy? And, and I'm glad that you bring that up <laughs> in because, Spanish, right? Yeah, right. Whatever. However they say that. But and I'm glad that you bring that up because I am well aware that how I feel about Mexico is the way that. People in this country feel about going to certain places in this country. Or uh, Boston. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. It's like it. And Most it of sucks. Texas. It makes me very like. I hate it, dude. I hate that. We live in the freest country of the world, and people are like, no, nah, I'm not going to go there. Me and Jonas were discussing Hitler before the podcast. Yeah, yeah we were. <laughs> we, were <laughs> discussing, we were talking about Antifa, and Jonas was talking about he wanted to join Antifa. Oh, shut up, dude. Quit trying to tell <laughs> what, me. What? Is that not true? I, I'm not joining any alt group, period, right. regardless of what they stand for. Well, Antifa, like, I don't know. I, I actually, like, did some research on Antifa, because I was like, okay, so there's the right. Right. There's far right, and then there's alt right, which they call far right too. At the same time, yeah, yeah, yeah. And but like the alt is essentially the most extreme you can get. Yeah, like, but why is the most extreme of essentially what is Republican views? Why is the most extreme of that just hate and intolerance? And then the most extreme of what is essentially Democratic views is just like if you're a fascist or a xenophobe. We're eliminating gonna, we're gonna kill you i'm like okay so it's like you know you go from being batman to the punisher on on the far left side <laughs> and then the all right side is just like yosemite sam to i don't know hitler yeah right exactly <laughs> basically we gotta eliminate all the jews and blacks and nations right well i mean that's i mean that's i mean that's kind of why they uh somewhat associate alt-right with like uh, yeah. nazi like uh yeah Trump pen stickers and Confederate Bob. flags. <laughs> Just, they are synonymous. Yeah. So yeah, I don't understand. And don't get me wrong, I I don't not a Yosemite Sam and like uh, sympathizer either. Yeah, yeah. But you know. But least... yeah, dude, I don't. I don't know, man. It's and uh, the reason Hitler came up, I was like, was like talking about like the thought process of like if some of these really oh, nasty evil people would if the wars would have turned out a different way what would have happened like if nazi germany would have won uh -huh. or like you know that that's a crazy scenario to think about or like if the confederacy would have won the civil war like holy <laughs> crap dude Jesus. i mean you'd be fine well, <laughs> either way you're well, good right, dude that, it's not about me like yeah, i true. i care about everyone that's why i'm like how messed up would the world be if like these crazy things happen like the people who tried to take <laughs> over the world they're like if the romans would have never been pushed back and the roman empire just engulfed the entire world it was just one giant world of roman i think you would still be good in that scenario it's crazy jones because there's like in these in these scenarios there's not really too many too many scenarios where you're not going to be good you're good. Romans win. Poof, you're good. But it's good. not about me. I understand it's not about you. I'm just like doing the math in my head here. You're good if the Romans lost. You're good if the Mongols would have won. You're good if Chinese regime. No, maybe not. Maybe not. If if like Genghis Khan would have taken over the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of what what <laughs> series of events it would take for uh, Caucasian Americans. Well, but here's the thing, though. It depends because if... It depends what period of time this happened. Because if, mm. if Genghis Khan would have invaded Britain way early, like 1400s or whatever the hell, you know, before Columbus sailed the ocean blue, da, 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 like, mm. then there would have been no one coming to America to find it. And, you Ooh. know what I mean? So, like, indigenous peoples. Right. Like, so it's like, it, it depending on when this happened, who knows if, you know. So, if, I'm, if, if, if the Spanish never came over and America was just full of indigenous peoples. Mm. Yeah, like, mm. like, yeah, exactly. Like, how crazy, like, everything happens and, like, it literally, like, that's why, you know, they talk about if ever time travel, it's like the smallest little thing, hmm. like, could, you know, like, yeah. if someone went back and just interrupted Columbus's thought process about coming to America. Or sunk the Nina Penta Santa right, Maria. Right, exactly. Or, like, you know, maybe the day that Columbus decided he was going to try to sail America, somebody just, like, went right about the time they slapped him in the back of the head. I like this, Jonas. You know, it's like, what alternate Slapped him in the back of the head. And then he just, the thought never came to his head. He never, he never thought about coming to America after that. Yeah, that's, that's not us. So I think you'd still be good, though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you'd still be good. But uh, but you know that, that we'll end it there because that is all the time we have for today's episode. We got a really informative episode today. We talked about Donald Duck into like what happened if the alternate universes. How strange our podcast is. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Follow this guy on Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at nine o'clock, ten o'clock Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. Uh, start your morning right with some dynamite in your life. Ah, oh, dude, I like it. For Jonas, we'll catch you on the next one. We, bro, <sighs>